We're joined by Mark Morris, the head coach of the St. Lawrence Saints. Welcome to Belfast, Mark. Well, it's great to be here. You, you flew in to Belfast on Monday. Uh, you've had a couple of days practice so far. How are things going? It's going well. The guys are adjusting. Uh, I think they got their sleep patterns down a little bit now, and uh, they seem pretty rested today and full of life. So I'm encouraged. I'm glad we got that behind us. You seem to put them through their paces just a few minutes ago, and they, they were up for nearly 90 minutes to get. Well, we needed it. Uh, you know, we've been sitting on your rear end for a while, and it was time to put them through their paces. And, uh, you know, they're, they're uh, in pretty good shape, and hopefully uh, today's skate will get them ready for the next couple of days. Joined by Gavin Bayreuther, the leading goal-scoring defenseman for St. Lawrence, just recently uh, managed to get that milestone. Yeah, yeah it happened um, two weeks ago um, against RPI. So well, it's good. It's a good. It's a good and accomplishment. Thirty-eight goals now. Thirty-two goals. Thirty-two goals. Yeah. And, and uh, what was it you're looking forward to trying and getting uh, adding to that this weekend? Yeah, for sure. Um, obviously, that's something that sticks in your head. Um, it's the ultimate ultimate uh, success for your team is to score goals, score more more goals than the opponent. And uh, I've been lucky enough to uh, find the puck in the right areas of the ice. Alex, welcome to Belfast. How are you settling in so far? Good. It was a long day yesterday, but we're starting to recover, and we loved everything we saw. And we're going to continue to experience Northern Ireland, and we're all having a blast so far. You've had a couple of days um, in the, the country and a couple of days training with a tough session that looked like just a few minutes ago. So the coach is obviously putting you through your paces. Yeah, we, we needed to get all the, uh, the plane legs out of us, and I think they've been doing a good job at that. Um, still getting used to the big ice. We play on a really small sheet back at home, so... It'll be a good test for us, uh, we, especially in playoffs, we play an Olympic sheet like this, so definitely getting the legs out from under us. Is there anybody we should be looking out for that will be able to take, make that step up to the NHL? Well, we've got a few. Uh, right now, our most noteworthy player is Gavin Bayreuther. He's an excellent defenseman. Um, when I was in Manchester in the American Hockey League, I had a similar defenseman by the name of Alec Martinez, who did a pretty nice job for the LA Kings and continues to do so. He uh, has a lot of the same qualities and uh, they're the same type of defenseman and hopefully uh, Gavin can continue with his progress and, and get there someday. Your coach Mark Marsh speaks very highly of you um, and we had five players from the Friendship Four last year who have already made the step up to the NHL. Mm -hmm. Is that something you're striving towards? Um, yeah, I mean obviously that's a, the ultimate goal in my life to play in the NHL, to play professional hockey, but at the same time I we have we still have a long ways to go this season and uh, I, I I won't be able to make it anywhere near that unless unless we have a big year here a big year as a team and uh, it should it should be good so th so far things have been going well but uh, um, it starts with uh, Friday looking forward to the, the game obviously you're here for the business side of things competitive game two points up for grabs and you have Quinnipiac on Friday evening what kind of game can we expect it'll be fast and I think there'll be lots of intensity um, you know, there, were, there was a lot of physicality in the game and a lot of speed. Um, that's one thing about college hockey is uh, there's an enormous amount of enthusiasm. Sometimes it's maybe not channeled in the right directions, but it's hard to bottle that stuff. And, you know, sometimes the, with a big, big schedule in pro hockey, things slow down a bit, but uh, it never seems to get slow in, in college hockey. There's lots of... Lots of energy. The four years I've been at St. Lawrence, uh, Quinnipiac and uh, us have had have had a pretty big rivalry. It's turned into quite the quite the rivalry, and um, it's it's it keeps boiling. And uh, it's at the same time, it's gonna be a really big game. But it's just another ECAC league game, and it's a cool place to be playing. And uh, we hope to win and go on to the finals. You're in a really good place to have some good uh, voice behind our fans heading and cheering on St. Lawrence this weekend. Well, that's great to know. All character guys, I uh, feel real, real lucky to have uh, spent some time with those players and they're all great people. Obviously they had a good time here and hopefully we can bring that same excitement to uh, the rink here in Belfast. Mark, thanks very much for your time and good luck this weekend. Thanks for having me.